the question is saying that my emails have stopped working when I changed my name service. That probably means that you're missing your MX records or your mail records in the name service that you're pointing to when it doesn't work. If I set up my website name servers on a particular host, my emails start working. If I change my name servers, my emails stop working. We're gonna do a little bit of a lesson on DNS here and let's see if I can break this down easy enough for everyone to understand. If you go to our channel and you search for DNS, I've got a number of breakdowns on what the basics of DNS actually are, and I'm not gonna take you right through that whole model now. But what I do wanna share is one key and important difference that you need to know. When it comes to DNS, you've got name servers, and those name servers basically say, in this domain name, where am I gonna look for my DNS records? DNS stands for domain name system, but what it actually is, is a set of records that tell things where to go. If someone wants to open up your website, they type in your domain name. The A record tells someone where to go to find your website, the IP address of the server that's hosting your website. If someone wants to send you an email and they type in an email address at your domain name, the MX records or the mail exchanger records will point someone to where your email hosting is. In most cases, that's probably gonna be Google Workspace. Now, when you have those DNS records configured, they need to sit in a DNS host. And that DNS host may be your website provider, it may be a cPanel, it may even be a web builder like Wix or Squarespace. We recommend on this channel that you make use of Cloudflare for your DNS hosting. Cloudflare are a free DNS hosting service and they also have a number of great tools and features added on top of your DNS hosting, like a web application firewall and caching, which will help to speed up your site as well as security options that help to keep the nasties out. Now, we are a Cloudflare partner, but we don't make any money with you going to Cloudflare and using their free plan. So you can trust that this is a solid recommendation that's just good for you to do for your business. Now, what do you do if your emails right now are working with one set of name servers, but not working with another set of name servers? What that actually means is one of those is configured incorrectly, and you're likely switching between one set of DNS records, which is correct, and another set of DNS records, which is missing. In this case, the question is saying that my emails have stopped working when I changed my name service. That probably means that you're missing your MX records or your mail records in the name service that you're pointing to when it doesn't work. So what's the fix? You're gonna need two places to look when we work on a fix for this. Number one, you're gonna need access to your domain name. Number two, you're gonna need access to your domain name settings or your DNS host. Now, your domain name is where you configure your name servers. The domain name registration you pay yearly and that's basically so you can own the name. But the one thing that you get in that domain name when you buy it is the ability to point your domain name to different name servers, effectively pointing it to different DNS hosting accounts. Now, secondly, you're gonna need access to that host account. You're gonna need access to wherever your DNS settings are. And some of them can be a bit confusing because the name servers don't always make it obvious where they're actually sitting. It makes sense if you're using Wix or Squarespace that the name servers will say Wix or they will say Squarespace, but sometimes the name servers are completely nonsensical and they don't seem to make sense where they're actually pointing on the internet, which can be hard to track down where your DNS settings hosts actually are. It may be something that you set up five or 10 years ago and then forgot about, and maybe that's why you're in a pickle searching for this video right now. My recommendation in this video is that you switch your DNS settings from wherever they are now into Cloudflare. And be careful because this process can break some things, but if right now your emails aren't working, well, this might be the best place for you to go to get things fixed. Configuring a Cloudflare account for your domain name means that you get a fresh set of DNS hosting. And they do have simple instructions for updating your name servers on your domain name registration so it points to Cloudflare. Cloudflare propagates changes to your domain name very quickly, whereas in the past it can take 24 to 48 hours for the changes you make to come into effect. Typically, Cloudflare is pretty darn fast because they are one of the largest gateways to the internet for websites all over the world. And the process to fix this is to first identify where is your website hosted, and that could be an online builder, it could be a WordPress site, it could be a cPanel server, and find the IP address of that server, and you enter that into the A record of your Cloudflare domain. 
Now, some web builders will have specific instructions. You may need to use a CNAME or an alias to get it to work. Look up the instructions for your DNS records for your web hosting provider, wherever your website is stored, and they should give you instructions on how to get that fixed. Number two, you wanna set up your MX records. Now, your MX records are your mail records. They say where your email goes. And obviously, if you're looking for Google Workspace, you wanna make sure that they're pointing to Google Workspace. Look up the DNS records or check out our blog for the correct DNS records for your Google Workspace account. And from there, you wanna enter those into your DNS as well. Now, there's some final steps that you need to make sure you get right. And here's where it gets, unfortunately, a little bit more technical. These days, if you're sending any kind of marketing emails or just to ensure that no one pretends to be you on the internet, you wanna make sure that you add SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records to your DNS. Now, if that sounds like complete gobbledygook, I'd recommend you get some tech support to help you out getting those done. We do have a video showing you how to configure them from start to finish and how you can get all of your DNS records set correctly so you don't end up sitting in someone's spam mailbox because you haven't had your email delivered. But once you get each of those done and they're all configured inside your Cloudflare account, your email should start working pretty quickly. Now, in any case, if you've had issues with your DNS, and your emails have been bouncing back to customers or not being delivered correctly, you do need to do potentially a little bit of repair work. If you've had a customer that's tried to email you and their email hasn't come through, typically emails will attempt to be re-delivered within the next 24 to 48 hours. You may find emails that were sent a couple of days ago have now reappeared in your inbox and you don't know exactly how long ago it's been since they were sent, but they're here now. You might have to do a little bit of communication or relationship repair with a particular customer or a particular order to manage that if that's the case for your business. Also, if someone tried to email you and they received a bounce back, well, that email is not going to be re-delivered. You need to be careful if you are expecting an important email and maybe someone didn't notice that it bounced back, you might have to reach out to that person personally and say, hey, I was expecting to get an email from you. I've had some issues with my email. Could you let me know if it's come through or not? Or could you let me know if you sent it? I just want to check that I haven't missed something important. Eventually, after usually a day or two, all your emails will be flowing correctly again and you should be good to go. Now, it goes without saying, if you need help with this or if any of this is too challenging, click the link down below and get in touch with our team to help you out. We're a professional consultancy service and we help small business owners with DNS issues all day long. This is literally our speciality and we have a quick fix service where during Australian and US business hours, our team are online for instant support. So if your emails have stopped right now, they're not being received, or you're unsure how to fix your DNS issues that you've got going on with your domain, we'll be very happy to help you with that. Click on the link down below to get started. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.